Hello, this is Ebenezer Alpaca, back with another episode of Gardening with Ebenezer. Um, today I'm here to talk about Black-Eyed Susans. Um, so that's this flower right here, right, right here. Um, is a black-eyed Susan. Um, now I used to have a friend named Susan, um, and she used to plant black-eyed Susans, except then she got a black eye, and so she couldn't really see, um, and so then she stopped, because then everybody was calling her black-eyed Susan. Um, true story. Um, yeah, so this is the black-eyed Susan, and it is a pretty tall plant, um, and... Yes, we have them growing right here. Um, so they don't require too much water, I don't think. Although, actually, I don't usually water them. I think they're just wild flowers. Actually, I don't know how much water they require. So probably don't take my advice on this. But they are very pretty. I'm giving you <laughs> the visual. Uh, I was just stretching my neck. I'm giving you the visual of them. But probably go somewhere else for the information about them. But, um, I do have a lot of information about poison ivy. Now, black-eyed Susans are very nice, very nice, and I can touch them and nothing happens. Besides maybe a little pollen on my nose. Um, but poison ivy is not good. N-G. And let me show you some so that we have a visual. Visual. So right, I'm just going to put my, my ear right where my ear is. That's poison ivy. Now, I'm not touching it. I'm, I'm far, far enough away. But that's poison ivy. And what happens is if you touch poison ivy, it gets oil on you. And then you feel very itchy. And sometimes it gets red and infected. Infected. And none of that is good at all. So don't get poison ivy.